So I've been using the Huawei GT2 Pro for almost three months now and there is something I think you should know. Hey everybody, my name's Aidan, this is Everyday Tech. If you are new to my channel, then welcome. If you are a returning viewer, then welcome back. And if you haven't already, don't forget, subscribe to my channel. And if you do get to the end of this video and you do like it, then please remember to hit that like button. It would mean a lot. So in December last year, I got the Huawei GT2 Pro and it was a... I still is actually a really nice watch but this lockdown has provided some information which I probably wouldn't have noticed and I think it's important that you should know because it may determine whether this watch is for you so if you want this watch I'll leave a link in the description below of where you can buy it on Amazon and obviously you may be aware I may get a small commission from it so this will actually be my third video on this watch and I do love it but this one is going to be more of a a real critical look at this watch and if I had the chance would I buy it again? Let's find out. So the watch itself I actually really love. It's a really really nice feeling watch. I mean I've had it almost three months apart from the fingerprints which you get on the the, the screen it's actually not got a scratch on it it's really nice one thing is though i wish i'd have gone for the black rubber strap this strap that i got is very nice and it really is nice um but it looks out of place if you are at a gym not so much but it looks more more of a dressy watch and it is very nice but this relates to something I shall get to in a little while. Now the biggest selling point for me of this watch is the fact that it has such a strong battery. I mean, you charge it, what, once every couple of weeks? It really is that good. I mean, it really is fantastic. Now, again, this isn't an in-depth review. I have done other videos on this watch of what I like and what I don't like, but this is gonna be more of a critical look because of a lockdown. Now what I do like are the things that you can get notifications on the watch. So you, you know you do get one from comes on your phone but you can't do anything with it. You you can't do anything. You you can't read a message, you can't reply to a message. It really is that useless. And I say useless because I really don't see the point. I sent myself an email and it got through on my phone and I still haven't had it on my watch. So that's how good it is. And it was just to prove a point that you can't actually read the emails. It will just send you a notification saying we're well, giving you the headline as it were or the subject if there's a subject in the email. But you can't actually open it and read it. Obviously you can't reply. Replying is not an issue but being able to read an email would have been nice or a message you know it would have been a little bit easier and because of that I don't really use the notification function so much but the biggest thing for me is the fact that I have noticed because in the UK gyms are closed so I've not been going and I bought this as a smartwatch slash fitness tracker but I've quickly learned that this isn't a smart watch it's got some smart features but it's not a smart watch because you can yes send and receive calls but it's not that great you know it's okay when i'm driving i'm driving a lot of cars they're all different i can't connect my phone to the car and i thought yes i'll be able to take calls through the watch it would be fantastic but i find myself just holding my wrist up to my ear and if you're doing that, you're not in control of the vehicle, so I wouldn't recommend it. Obviously, it all depends on how busy your, how busy, how quiet or noisy your vehicle is. If you're in a nice, quiet electric vehicle going down the road at 30 miles per hour, I'm sure it'd be fine. But if you're in a great, big, loud, gas guzzling SUV, then it may be an issue. And because of that, and because I drive a lot of different cars, I tend not to use it. And then you come to some of the other functions, like when you go onto the watch and you can go to the weather, it'll give you the weather. And that's great, but who looks at the weather on their phone? Nobody. 
I it was one thing I discovered and I've never looked at it since. You know, you always go onto your phone, you type in the weather forecast and it'll give you today, tomorrow, the next 10 days. You actually can get that same feature on the phone, but it's just not as intuitive as on the watch, sorry. But you can't so sorry if you can hear a motorbike out there with a stupidly loud exhaust. And for all of you people that do have one of those massive motorbikes which are louder than it ever should be, just to remind you, nobody likes it. So people are looking at you because you look like a dick. Hey, he's finally turned it off. Honestly, I cannot stand them. They absolutely go through me and what are even worse, are those little tiny mopeds with the little added dogs that just go Nyeow! but anyway I digress and it's going to start again in a minute and it is going to annoy me so another function of this watch which I find confusing is you can get the weather which is nice you just scroll right and uh hi hi boy I mean I've got a helper you can just see cat bum sorry about this he's going to do this now until he gets bored he's just gonna headbutt me and he's gonna headbutt everything and he's just gonna ruin my shot aren't you yes because he just wants snuggles but the watch itself is actually really great in the fact that you can get weather forecast and it'll give you 10 day weather forecast it'll also give you it'll also give you you know what kind of moon it is and all sorts which is very nice he's the camera's focusing on his tail uh, but it's unnecessary I think it's an unnecessary feature it sounds great but you don't need it and then you get into uh, things like this stress levels again it's motorbikes there again hello the stress level indicator is great and if you are actually monitoring it then it's worthwhile but if you don't need to the cat's licking the watch and my finger thank you boy thank you for that and if you don't actually need to monitor your stress you'll find that you won't use that function it's the same with the reading the oxygen levels in your blood and this probably brings me to the last bit which is the sport function if you don't work out if you don't go to the gym and you're just after a smartwatch this isn't the watch for you it really isn't this is just a really fancy sports watch a fitness tracker that's all that it is and I've noticed that since the gym's closed when I got it and I was going to the gym I was using a lot of the functionality because it actually has an auto detect function which is really nice so if you went on a row machine it will automatically detect that you are on a row machine and it will track your fitness brilliant but since the gyms have closed I've not used it at all I've been wearing this watch and I've been using it but all I've been doing is just getting vibrations on my wrist to say I've got a few emails which I can't read on here and looking at the time that's it oh and the one thing I do look at is obviously the step counter but you can get those functionalities on your phone so is it worth it i mean it's really up to you but i would say unless you are into your fitness then no it's not worth it you know i think there's a whole load of fitness trackers out there that will do pretty much the same thing for a lot less money but if you are into your fitness and you do run and you do jog and you do cycle then this is definitely something to consider but I just thought I'd bring it up because when I was at the gym, it was great. But now I'm not at the gym, I'm not using it at all. It's just a fancy timepiece, which in a year or two will have gone obsolete and it will be virtually useless to everybody. It's just one of those things. So anyway, I'm going to leave you with that. So I'm going to say bye and Sushi also says bye because obviously... You know he's just in the way you know he's just gonna be here now even when i'm editing this in a little while so if you've enjoyed this then please hit that like button and if you've really enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe to my channel below and guys i'll see you next time